applying our baseline knowledge about negative numbers, we move into comparing negative numbers. And we know from comparing positive numbers that if you're comparing like 4 and 8 on a number line, if here's 0, I'm going to have an interval of 2. So that means here, on, oh my gosh, Wrigley is sitting next to me right now and he's snoring, so sorry if you can hear that in the background. Um, so back, anyway, back to these comparing positive numbers for a moment. We know that f a positive 4 is 4 units to the right of 0, and then 8 units is 4 units to the left. And we know as we travel to the right, the value increases. And so we know that 8 is greater than 4. And so you could think of, remember, the greater than, less than symbols. It's basically like uh, an equals sign where you've tilted it to say, I'm going to tilt you because it's not equal anymore. These things aren't the same. But the one over here on this side is going to be greater than the one on this side because it's like our scale has tipped. It's opened wider here, so that means this one's bigger, this is smaller, so this number is smaller. But when we're working with negative numbers now, let me get my negative. If we're comparing those same things, we need to compare negative 4 and negative 8. This is actually going to work in the opposite. So there's our 0. It's neither positive nor negative, but I am already had read out. I'm going to get back my interval of 2. So here's negative 2, negative 4 negative 6, negative 8, and I'll just include negative 10 on there for the fun of it. So I know negative 4 is right here. It is 4 units to the left of 0. And then eight, negative 8 is 8 units to the left. So based on this, because I know as we travel to the left, the value decreases, that means 8, even though if it was a positive number, this would be greater. It's like a greater amount of debt, or it has a less value. We're further to the left of zero, and so that means that negative eight is actually going to be less than negative four. And that seems reasonable if you know, like, winter temperatures, if we're looking at this little baby number line here, if we're at zero degrees and we have negative four, negative eight is going to be colder than negative four degrees because it's going to be less. There's less warmth in the air. It's just colder. So comparing negative numbers, you just have to think a little bit like the opposite of comparing positive numbers. And so sometimes an easy trick is thinking of like, if I got rid of that sign, if I just looked at this as a 4 and an 8, I know that would be, 8 would be greater. But since I'm dealing with the opposite of 4 and the opposite of 8, the opposite is going to be true for our inequality. So we call these statements of inequality, we use them to compare negative numbers.